Palm Beach, Florida. It's warm. It's warm out there, right? Very nice place. Very, very nice place, right? Who doesn't like Palm Beach? Everybody likes Palm Beach, am I right? Got a little water on my desk there. Had to clean that off. But that's not, that's not important. My desk being all wet, that don't matter. What matters is cash flow, real estate, y'all, because that's what we're talking about. And I'm going to help a couple from Palm Beach, Florida, get in on some cash flow rental properties in some of the most profitable markets, markets that are way cheaper than anything you're ever going to see in Florida. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show is for my girl, Sandy. And her man's Chris. What's up, y'all? You guys are a beautiful couple, man. I love you guys' story. Uh, you're trying uh, to create long-term legacy wealth for your kids. That's awesome, right? And what I have for you today, folks, property, we're going to go up. Super cheap market. That's what I do, right? I help you guys get super cheap real estate, help you guys stretch your funds as far as humanly possible. And then my team handles the on-the-ground work. I got a very cheap one for you today. I've sent you some other properties that are a little bit more expensive, right? Because you guys are looking uh, to do this long-term for your children, I wanted to first give you guys some super low-risk, safe investments, some very nice, high-quality investments, right? But you did come to me because you see a lot of the lower-cost cash flow stuff. So I wanted to give you the opportunity to check out one of those as well. Do I find this property to be like, inherently risky for you too? No, not necessarily. But I felt it was my duty uh, as a steward of your money to go lowest risk first, give you a take on that. But this here is going to be dramatically cheaper than some of the other stuff you're looking at. Only about $20,000 out of your pocket. But I got to tell you, it's going to be a little bit more risky than some of your other properties, right? Like our best type of tenant for this one's probably going to be a Section 8 tenant. But you let me know what you want to do. We'll take a look at the footage now. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Under 20K. That's it. Under 20K. That's all we got to spend, right? How crazy is that? Okay? This is the house. And you might be thinking, under 20. This freaking fat guy in a bright orange shirt, he must be make, He must be lying. He must be about to sell me a piece of poo. He might be selling me a turd sandwich. No, nah, man, it's a nice little house. It's a little guy, right? A little smoke, right? A little smoke, by the way. For my uh, West Coast uh, followers, my West Coast viewers out there, this white stuff y'all see, right? San Diego, I'm talking to you. We call that snow, right? We call that snow. We got that out here in the Midwest. But look at this house, right? It's been rented. Is it the Taj Mahal? No, but it's nice. Nice little low-income, blue-collar town, blue-collar house, right? Looking pretty good, right? Pretty nice, okay? And you could pick this thing up for a song, man. Super cheap. It's got everything the tenant's going to need, okay? The locale, 2815. I don't even know how to say this street. Crehor? Crehor? Crehore? I don't know. C-R-E-H-O-R-E. -E. I, I don't know. It's a weird street. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's in Lorraine, Ohio, and I do a lot of business in Lorraine. This would be the first house on this uh, particular street, as evidenced by the fact they can't even say it. But can anybody really say that? I might have to punch that into a GPS or something. Let uh, the GPS chick tell me how to say it. Anywho, just hit the market, $83.33 a square foot. Priced at seventy-nine grand, folks. Seventy-nine grand. I like this little city, Lorraine. Okay? On a national scale, probably ain't nobody heard of Lorraine, okay? It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland. My company, we run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind in the Cleveland market. When I say Cleveland market, I mean the greater Cleveland, northeast Ohio metropolitan area, right? Not just the city of Cleveland, folks. I know when y'all are like, where are the best cash flow markets? Cleveland pops up. But that don't mean just the city of Cleveland, y'all, okay? The city of Cleveland, 
It's got like 350, 360,000 people, maybe even down to 340, somewhere in there, right? The area I service, the area my team works, the area Holton Wise does, your property management, we're looking at like four to five million people, okay? So the city of Cleveland is just a little blip in our overall market. But most people only know about Cleveland, right? Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Indians if you're a regular person, Cleveland Guardians if you're woke, right? That's all people pay attention to. So deals like this, they slip by the wayside, right? think we could pick this thing up at 79 if this was in cleveland itself it'd be worth a lot more right 79 grand is what i think we should pay we'll be able to get a nice either cash paying or section 8 tenant in there at 975 after running the fixed and variable expense estimates assuming my team does all your management all your maintenance all your construction handles your insurance i think you're going to spend about six thousand dollars a month operating this rental property yeah there's cost to operating rental properties folks if you didn't think there was you're listening to the wrong people, people that tell you that your costs are just taxes, insurance, and your mortgage payment. They're lying to you. There's a lot of other costs associated with running rental properties, right? And I tried to give you guys the best illustration of the reality of those costs in every one of my videos. So I think your true profit will be about fifty-six ninety-four on average every year. Some years will be better, some years will be worse. That's the nature of the beast, right? Now, here's the best part. You only need like 20 k folks. The bank will kick in 59250 and I got lenders if you don't have them. All you got to do is kick in 19750 That should project out to a cash on cash return of approximately 16%. Oh, and guess what? But wait, there's more, folks. You know what we're doing? When Lake Erie thaws, we're getting two naval bases up here in Lorraine area, okay? Two naval bases. It's going to be several thousand jobs, okay? You add several thousand jobs to a nice little community like this, you know what goes up? Demand. Yeah. You all know what happened when housing demand goes up. You know what happens, okay? It's not historically an appreciation market, but I'll leave that to you to figure out what happens when housing demand increases. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.